It is RV show season. Yes, it is. Matter of fact, we're at the Tampa RV show right now. Yes, we are. And there's lots of great rigs out here. So a lot of people are in the market for RVs right now. Yes. And we have teamed up again with five other channels doing our collaboration. And so this topic of this collaboration is? This is about deal breakers, the non-negotiable things when you're looking for your rig. We've been through this process twice. Yeah. There are some very, very important things. So after you watch our video, make sure you pop over to those other channels mm -hmm. and we'll leave a link in the description. So you pop over there and see what all their showstoppers are, what their non-negotiables are. And if you're in the market, you probably will get a lot of good ideas about what to look for when you're looking for an RV. Correct. Something you may have not thought of. Yeah. One of our deal breakers, carry capacity. One of the biggest deals for us is carry capacity. And you can find the information on how much you can carry right here on this little tag on the outside of your RV. Now the cargo capacity means how much of your stuff that you can put in the RV. And you gotta be careful because some of the cargo capacities in some of these RVs is really, really small. And when you start adding up washer dryer, generator, all your stuff, it adds up really, really fast. And you can be overweight before you know it. And we have 2,700 pounds worth of stuff, our stuff that we carry in our RV. And our max carry capacity on this is 3,391 pounds. So we're good by a lot. That's not always the case. Another non-negotiable deal breaker, the east-west king size bit. So much room for activities. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we like the east-west facing bed because it gives you more room and generally they'll put a slide in the front up here. Yeah. Um, the north south facing beds and what we mean by that north south facing bed would be like this front to back generally doesn't have a slide and generally has a lot less storage and a lot less space and a lot of the times they don't even have a washer dryer prep exactly so you get more space like this and because we had a king size bed in our house mm -hmm. and our first rv it's just hard to go backwards yes it is it's a deal breaker. <laughs> I don't want to get rid of the king. We need we need room to move around. Yes. With and without each other. <laughs> so naughty. You're so naughty. <laughs> Our next non-negotiable is seating facing the TV. Because who wants to sit like this and watch TV? Or like this? and watch TV. I don't, I don't understand. I know you don't. When we were looking for our RV, mm -hmm. both times, yes. as soon as we walked in, mm -hmm. if the seating wasn't facing the TV, we walked walk right back out. Because <laughs> I just can't see myself living, I couldn't even see myself enjoying myself on a weekend. No. Like a three, four day weekend, sitting like this watching TV. Yeah. I don't, I don't understand it. Okay freaking your neck. Yeah, I can't. And you know, you'd almost have to have seating on the other side so that you could rotate your neck. Alrighty. Because you're sitting like this the whole time, or like this the whole time. I just, you know, mm -hmm. I don't know. Terrible. And I know some people that are watching this, you have that set up, and I don't know why. <laughs> I just don't. I don't well, get it. For some people, it's not a deal breaker. For us, it's a deal breaker. Okay, another non-negotiable deal breaker for us, which is not going to be for everybody, but it's a easy, accessible floor plan for scouts. <laughs> right, buddy? This layout gave us the ability to, to build some ramps up here so that scout can get up top, bask under his heat lamps, have plenty of window space to look out. So we modified all of this so that he can get up and so he can get down and be free range in the RV without us having to be home all the time. And it gave us the opportunity to build a habitat above the TV up here where he sleeps at night. He don't spend a lot of time up there during the day, but he does sleep up there at night and hangs out there in the early morning until he wants out. Most of the time, this is where you'll find Scout chilling. Yeah. 
last but certainly not least okay. is service after the sale yeah now we didn't think it was that big of a deal when we bought our first rv no and we really didn't do a lot of research no but we learned we learned <laughs> we could be taught <laughs> after the first one we realized and we had some issues with our first rv we we quickly realized that service after the sale and making sure that you are mm -hmm. in bed with a good company yeah that's going to take care of you after it's all said and done is very very important it's more important than you think yes so make sure that you do your research mm -hmm. i'm not going to name any brand names no but we have talked to several people in several different brands of RVs. We've even talked mm -hmm. to RV techs. And yeah. some RV techs say they will not even work on certain. on certain brands, even if it's under warranty, because it's so much work to get paid yes. that they won't even work on those. So make sure you do your research, because mm -hmm. if you get in one of those brands, even if you're under warranty, you might have might trouble struggle. finding somebody that'll work on your RV. Yeah. But don't forget to pop over to those other channels. Yeah see what their non-negotiable deal breakers were. I'm sure they have some really great ideas too. I can't yeah. wait to go over and see what their things were. See how we differ. Yeah. yeah. But hey, stick around for a few seconds. We're gonna honor a fallen hero. If you wanna get involved with helping us help veterans out on the road, everything you need to know is down in the description of the video. Appreciate you watching and we'll see you at the show. <laughs> Bye.